Well, we have to start with the quarterback situation, obviously. That's first and foremost on everybody's mind, Mark. And I think the big question is, what can Blake Bortles do to improve this year? Well, Blake had a, a very good season last year, but I think if there's one area that needs to improve would be his consistency. Um, a lot of real good games. Uh, a few games in there where Blake was perhaps a little off, the numbers uh, weren't great. Uh, some series, some quarters, and some games where he struggled a bit. Uh, anytime you have a quarterback that is still growing, that is still getting better as the years go on, uh, that's something that you look for is consistency. I think another thing for, for Blake this year, because of the schedule, Cole, he's going to find himself in positions where you get into that fourth quarter and he's just going to have to score. He's going to have to put up some points. Um, there will be a lot more on his shoulders this year because they're playing the Patriots, they're playing the Eagles. Uh, the Redskins will be pretty solid. Uh, of course, they'll have the Steelers again. You're going to have to score some points. And when that happens, um, you know, it's up to the quarterback to, to produce. How does the room change with Blake now as the old guy in the quarterback room? Very interesting. Um, to me, Blake's still a, a young quarterback, a still a quarterback that's in process, that's developing, that's growing. And I think he'll only get better. I really believe that. But in that room, uh, he's the old guy. He's the veteran. And what I like is that Blake has been in the system now uh, for some time. So he's comfortable um, with the system, Nathaniel Hackett's uh, system that he installed when he got here. And, and uh, so it's like you have another coach in there. I mean, it sounds crazy to think of Blake Bortles now as a coach that can help the young guys, but that's the position that he has found himself in. Uh, an interesting room. Uh, it's okay to have young guys as long as that, that number one guy, Blake Bortles, uh, is, is playing real well, and, and, uh, and we all expect him to do that.